Hello everyone, welcome to another video by Shadow Reviews, and today we're going to be reviewing another one of my Bioformer mocks, and today we're going to be reviewing Golden Kopaka. It's Kopaka with his powered mask, just like Golden Tiger was Tiger with his powered er, golden mask. So here he is, and first thing you can see here, it looks kind of like a mess of parts and stuff, you know, like a big heaping thing with, like, things all over it. But, uh, this is his vehicle mode, so here's a side view of it, you can see how that looks. Um, so all the front. So uh, here's the three quarters. Here's the back view. So yeah, this thing definitely catches your eye as like, what is that? But uh, it does have like some reason, I guess, to it. It's not just like me sticking things places. Um, this is a uh, snowmobile type build, and since there's not really any defined like vehicle like style for o Okoto, which is the island they live on. Um, I guess you can kind of just get creative with what they transform into. So uh, this is this like snowmobile type thing, snow speeder, whatever. Um, up front, you can see, well, I mean, let's start here. In the back, you can see it has this uh, saw blade as the wheel. Um, if I had the protector of ice, this probably would, probably would have been trans blue, but I don't, so I use the silver one from Ikimu. And so the back would be on the wheel, and the front would just kind of hover like this. So that's what it would look like if it was actually going. Here's a bottom view with all the like stuff. Here's his head right here. And uh, yeah, so this is vehicle mode. It's uh, pretty simple to transform, but I like literally it took like probably me like five to ten minutes just before I did the video, just trying to get this guy transformed the way I want it. Especially up here, trying to get these position right, and then. Um, these were pretty okay, not too bad. I'm trying to get this to make it look like it's not leaning over. And you can see, maybe a little bit, as it's kind of leaning toward this way. I was trying to get the legs right and the feet on the ground right, so that it was uh, evenly weight distributed, so I wasn't leaning to one side. So when you transform this into vehicle mode, it's going to be a lot of fiddling to get things right. Um, saw blade can roll. Um, You'll have to move it up and down back here so that it doesn't like get hooked on the hands. But uh, it can roll not too well on the smooth surfaces like this table, but on carpet, you don't have that rolling. I mean, it rolls pretty well on smooth surfaces depending on how you have it oriented. Like, um, you can see the, uh, oh, I hit something. I hope I didn't mess anything up. Um, these spikes are, the end of these spikes facing forward, so it gives them more push on this surface. But if it was facing the other way, it might not work so well. Um, the front. You can see he has these little things coming off to the side. And there's some extra armor here. Pretty bare on top, or mostly. You can see these pins, ball joint, and there's the top of this body. You have these sticking up, so not too much armor there, but there's not really much of a way I can put anything up there anyway. You can see he has some nice armor full. I have these uh, technical stuff up here. One going down, one going up. Got some gold, got your trans blue, and some white here and there, mostly in the front. And, uh, yeah. You got your hands. Um, I showed the bottom view, and I pretty much showed all of you. So let's just take a quick 360, so you can take it all in. And yeah, that's pretty much all that it looks like. Um, like I said, it is a snow vehicle. I guess it could work pretty well because the front hovers and then just has a wheel in the back. So this one sh probably shouldn't have too much trouble since it's so thin. Um, but yeah, I mean it's cool if you like, you know, weird looking type custom vehicles. It's pretty cool. Um, you can see a lot of trans blue. You can especially see Kopaka's transparent blueness in the uh, vehicle mode where you have all this trans blue peeking through everywhere. It's just cool, you know. Um, if you watched my first Kopaka video, it was a tank, and this one um, is a snow um, speeder type thing. But you can see this one definitely looks pretty heavily armed. Like, not too many spot tricks. So you have some gaps here and there just because of how the CCFBS system works. Can't fill every hole in the um, vehicle mode. But you can see it's definitely not like some light like motorcycle type thing. This thing has some armor on it, especially up front. So with this thing, you probably could ram things pretty safely. Um, have some nice armor to the side. Here's a bit exposed, but you know, altogether, he's pretty well armored, pretty nice. Um, I do like his vehicle mode though. It's pretty cool. I like the saw blade. I like the uh, idea of it hovering up front. I like just how it could roll, you know, on the back and then just you know, it just looks cool. Um, side view may not be as pleasant because uh, it just looks super weird. But, uh, you know, from the right angle, this thing will look cool, will look tank like. It'll look, you know, nice. Um, this does kind of take some inspiration, like, in terms of the vehicle mode. Like, this saw blade wheel, 
um, being a wheel in the back of the of the vehicle mode is not my original idea. I saw this on a Dr. Scorpion X's Copac Unlock, so it's not original. But most of this mod it is pretty much my creation, like right down to like everything. So uh, yeah. So there's your vehicle mode. No weapon storage, unfortunately, but. I mean, where would you store a spear? I mean, you could store a spear, like, if there's an attachment point up here, you could s stick it right there, and that'd be pretty cool. Ram things. But, uh, not really much place for the shield. And, uh, yeah, there's your vehicle mode. So, let's get into transformation. So, what you're gonna first want to do is pull these off, and let's see. Pull the arms out, like this. So, here are the arms, just kind of straighten out the hands, like so. And then just kind of leave those there. Next what you want to do, probably gonna have to angle up for this. So, next what you want to do is you're going to kind of pull the saw wheel back at these two ball joints, right there and there. Then pull out the legs and straighten those out. Just like so. Straighten out the feet. And there you go. So then we'll just move this up a little bit. Pull these back. Pull the arms down. And, yep, get into it. Next, what you want to do is I'll definitely have to angle up for this. So you're going to grab this whole thing and pull it down. It's uh, attached like this. If you saw the building, you know how to do that. Um, just pull this down and rest it on the front of the body. And then just kind of tilt these down a little bit so that they're not angled quite so far up. So there's the chest. You can see you have your head back here. So let's do the shoulder pads first. And spin them around like that and then just kind of rest them on the shoulders so again instead of having them like this you spin this around and this and just like that so you have the flat part of the bone on top and bottom and the thinner part is side to side and then you can pull the head for it just kind of rest it right there so there you can move these up to kind of make the neck look smaller so pull this up all the way and that will just kind of be there and there you have Kopaka or Golden Kopaka in his robot mode very nice looking robot mode I think let's just uh, do a quick angle up and down you can see his armor here a lot of gold on him so you know with the trans blue he looks a lot more like uh, Kimu with a Kopaka mask but if it weren't for the white then uh, you know what I'm saying I mean, my Akimu mock, if you saw that, it was pretty much to Kopaka's color scheme. Um, Kopaka's now, like, adopting Akimu's color scheme, so trading places, trading colors all over the place. But, uh, yeah, so he definitely looks pretty cool. I like um, how armored he is and how heavy he looks. You know, he looks really nice. The legs are pretty much the same build, except I changed out the armor. You know, you can see you have these golden pauldron, or, you know, plated type gold pieces. Um, if you've seen the uh, new Star Wars CCBS build sets, the uh, um, characters they have for Star Wars, um, this this armor assembly kind of looks like that um, piece they use on like most of those sets legs. Like it has this like kind of thin armor, and then it spikes out forward to the top. I mean, if you see um, if you see those sets, the new Star Wars buildable action figures, you'll um, know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, that's some nice detail with these gold. Um, plenty of trans blue since, you know, Akimu, he does come with a fair bit of trans blue bones and like two or three trans blue armor pieces, so those came in handy. You have the saw wheel which sticks out, sticks out quite far, but there are ways to fix that. Um, yeah, he, he's just looking really cool and I like him. Um, biggest problem, probably the head, because, excuse me, the way I have it, um, I i don't want the head here for transformation reasons because if you saw how to transform it, this folds back onto the bottom. Having it here wouldn't be like the best idea. And then like I, um, I needed to pull it forward so I put it on this uh, neck piece right here as you can see. But that means that the head's kind of raised up maybe just a little too far. I mean it's not like super terrible, especially from the right angle like if you view it from above or just like a little bit from above from like maybe like right through there it's not too bad but it also does like super limit his head articulation I mean, he can look down just fine but looking up you can go about that far maybe so it's just not that good turning his head with 
the uh, neck. You can see it's just straightforward. You can turn the head like not even at all. You can maybe turn it that much, which is like nothing. If you if you um move this, oh I coughed this mask off. If you move this, if you move that side to side just a little bit and then turn his head, um you can get a pretty good head turned to the side look. You just have to be careful how far you move it so it doesn't look like his head's just like over there because that's super weird. Um just if you do it right, you can get him looking to the left and the right a bit and have it not look like too disjointed or whatever. But sadly that's not to, um you don't get all the articulation with the head. You can tilt it, but that's about it. So uh yeah. So I guess we go over the rest of our articulation, shoulder pads, you know, have that. You can move it forward and back. Twist it a little too if you need to. These just kind of rest on there, um, unlike Kopaka's original shoulder pads, where these were spun around and then rested on there on his um shoulders. Um, you can see this little bit of trans blue, which looks cool, but they're a lot bigger and uh you know a lot more heavy. So those arms can move up, they can move back, they can move forward, they can uh, rotate, they can bend at the elbow about 90 degrees, and then you have all your hand articulation a little bit limited moving out as you can see. So let's put this back. And then let's go for the legs. So let's angle down. So the legs can go forward about this far because about um, I have this attached. Go back pretty far. They can go out. They can go in. They have the rotation. You can bend the knee about 90 degrees. Um, foot can't go too far forward because of the armor here, but it can go back side to side, and you got your rotation. So other than the head, he's not too limited except with his a little bit with his foot, but. I mean, the head is just like a big thing with these figures because you can get them looking like expressive if you have, if the head has enough articulation, like you can do that. Like he's looking down at us, like, oh man. But, uh, you know, I guess it's not too big of a deal. Depending on how Kopaka, like his personality, I guess I couldn't see you posing, like, well, I guess what I'm trying to say here, I guess it's not depending on what kind of poses you like to put Kopak in is not that big of a deal. I mean, if you have him looking like this, see that doesn't look too bad, but if you have him looking like this and like blocking with his shield, then it's not too bad, but if you, if you want him to look like just straight out to the side, it's not gonna be possible really. Um, let's move on to his back kibble so you can see uh, he has this large saw blade. Um, not really any way to decrease that unless you like just pull it down there, but that looks weird. So, what you want to do if you really, really want this to be flat on his back, you can pull this off, just attached with an axle. Then what you can do is pull this up, spin this around, and then kind of lean it in. Put the saw back on. Come on. And then this you can attach 90 degrees from the other one, so just kind of articulate in different ways and then attach that and then you'll have a saw blade on his back like flat so then that means he would have like just no back kibble except for these but uh... other than that you know this guy's pretty cool actually that looks cool in the background with, like his head and there's a saw blade behind it that was trans blue that would look cool but uh... yeah so you can see he has a pretty nice color scheme i like it he has the gold the white which is mostly again in his front you have the white feet white armor facing front and then more white armor facing front most of the rest of them is gold and trans blue, which I like. It's cool, you know, because Kapak is still ice, ice puns. Anyway, so yeah, that's uh, his colors. You still have your trans blue down here, your trans blue hands, because that's Kapak's thing. Um, I put some trans blue armor up here just to add to the transparency. He's just like trans blue all over with a lot of gold. So I introduced more gold into this color scheme than white. Just uh. You know, so white's now more of an accent color. I mean, in his original form, I guess it was pretty balanced between the two, but here I just added in all the gold I could. So, uh, yeah. Let's move on to his weapons, which you can see over here. So, for, um, so, you know, Tahu, uh, I said that really weird. Um, but, uh, you know, Tahu, he has his original weapons, you know, like his normal fire sword from the original, like, official set. And since I couldn't, um, like, actually build anything, like, super cool that I wanted to build with these, I decided, you know, Tahu has his original weapons, why not give Kopaka his original shield and spear? So I did. So here's his spear. It's the same as the official build. 
I mean, shield's going to be a little hard to put on if you watch the lights build for this guy. I don't know why. And I get it in one try this time. You know, reality likes to prove people wrong. But, you know, get his head turned three quarters, get his shield up here, and yeah, you know, it's just a basic shield. I attached it differently, as you can see, so that it's more like it's mounted to his forearm, but not, like, actually mounted to his forearm. So you have a little bit of spin with it. You can, you know, tilt it in different ways. You can have him bend his arm in. Overall, this is just a way better setup than the official build, which I'm sure many people would agree with. Because underhand shield wielding is like so awkward. So well yeah, you can see with this amount of posing, it's not too bad. You get him like striking with this spear. And let's get his legs all posed up. And there, you know, you see you got a good pose there. And you don't need to turn it anymore. That's just cool. So uh, for comparison, let's go ahead and straighten him back out. So that we can compare him with another Toa. Or an official build Toa. So... Let's get him all ready, and then I'm going to be bringing in Liwa, Master of Jungle. Because uh, Tahu, he's uh, feeling a bit exposed because he lost a bit of armor parts. So here's the Kopaka over here, and here's our lovely flying friend, Liwa. You can see um, Kopaka still about the same height. Well, actually, he may be like a little bit taller like a single like actual ball from the ball joint taller because you know this is sitting on his neck um actually I think his neck is at the yeah so he so Paka actually is not taller at all so um the way things worked out so he and Liu are about the same height actually it's so close but uh yeah there's comparison so there you go and, uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say for this guy. He's pretty cool, Ice Buns. And I like him. You know, he's got the white, he's got the gold, he's got the trans blue. He's a good figure. So, I like Tahoe, he just put on his golden mask and, you know, like, got upgraded. Because we all like putting on special things and then get upgrades with our characters. But, uh, yeah, that's about all I have to say. So, I'm going to go ahead and go. So, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more mock content. And I'll see you guys later. Oh. And thank you guys so much for 10 subscribers. That is just cool because I used to have like, I don't know, three. So thank you guys for subscribing too. So yeah, see you guys later.